In this lecture, we are going to study about uh, different costs of uh, good quality. Basically, we will learn about the prevention cost that are the cost to avoid the quality problems. That means these are the costs which are incurred in solving the quality problems and making the products or services better. And there are the appraisal costs which is used to monitor the level of the quality. These are generally the costs that are used for the quality control checks, documentation, standardization, etc. And uh, we will look these two costs in detail in this lecture. These two costs are called the cost of good quality because they help to improve the quality of the product or the quality of the service. Now let's look the first kind of cost of good quality that is the prevention cost. These are the costs incurred to prevent or avoid quality problems. So there may be many types of quality problems that we may encounter during the manufacture of the product or during rendering of any services. And these are the costs which are used for the prevention. So these are called the prevention costs. These costs are associated with either design, implementation and the maintenance of the quality management system. We use the prevention cost in order to build a management system that helps to improve the flaws involved in the design or uh, involved in the implementation management or the maintenance so that any occurrence of the future problems can be avoided. A plan and incurred before the actual operations. So obviously these are called the prevention cost. Now let us look different types of prevention cost. First of all, there are the products and service requirement prevention costs and that includes SOPs or standard operating procedures. Standard operating procedures are the documents which are used to explain the correct process of doing any work or the correct way of handling the materials or the process. And these are generally prepared and verified by the senior faculty of the organization. And then the training of the standard operating procedures are provided to all the members of the organization. And then these soaps are distributed and placed in the close proximity of the man, machine, material or the process which requires this standard operating procedure. Another is equipment qualification and calibration. Generally, administration, maintenance and management of equipment qualification and calibration also incurs different types of costs, which are the prevention costs. Equipment qualification and calibration are those uh, processes in which we try to put the status of the equipment or the machine in its higher or highest level of performance. Uh, we make sure that they are properly calibrated so that the results they give us are true. Generally, equipment qualification and calibration are done in the daily basis for the weight measuring or weighing devices and uh, they are done weekly or monthly, biannually or annually for other types of machine. But whatever the machine types may be, it is very important to do the equipment qualification and calibration and also preserve the record of the equipment qualification and calibration. The another one is process validation of the process and services. So if you get good batch of product or say if we are doing well only once, then we don't say that that product or that that process is validated. It should repeatedly give us the good result or the desired result. Now the next types of prevention costs is those costs involved in the operations planning. These are the daily, monthly and uh, weekly planning of the production. These are the costs involved in inspections and operations, etc. So these are generally used for the planning of the operation procedures. That means when we are doing what work, uh, how much raw material we should be taking, uh, what should be the number of manpower and till when should we complete the operations, etc. Most of the time as Six Sigma is basically used in the manufacturing industry, although it is very popular and equally effective in other service and business industries. The operation planning types of prevention costs is helpful in these other services also. The third type of prevention cost is the quality assurance related costs, which involves creation and maintenance of the quality system. Quality system involves all those measures where the organization maintains the quality in its products or the services. The fourth is the cost involved in quality planning. We had learned about the cost involved in the operation planning. So this is slightly different. It involves creation of the plans for quality, reliability of the operations, production and inspection. So generally operation planning types of prevention cost is generally for planning of the operation and uh, production etc. And the quality planning are those costs which are generally used for the maintaining quality and reliability in the products. And the fourth type of prevention cost is training because different kinds of costs are involved in the training. 
Generally, trainings are given for the development, preparation and maintenance of the quality programs. And these trainings may involve in-house training, which are given inside the organization. Or the company may sponsor for its employee to receive training from the different institutions. There is also induction training for newcomers who join the organization in order to let them know how the organization is functioning or how the processes are going on. And in this type of training, they are also trained about the importance and running according to the standard operating procedures of the company. So different costs are also involved in the training program. And these all are the types of the prevention costs. Now the second type of cost is the appraisal cost. Appraisal cost is associated with measuring and monitoring activities related to the quality and they are associated with the suppliers and customers evaluation of the purchase materials, processes, products and services to ensure that they conform to the specifications. Now let us see different types of appraisal costs. First of all, we have the quality audits and different costs are involved in the quality audits. Quality audits are generally done for the confirmation that the quality system is functioning correctly. So the maintenance of the quality system was the prevention cost and confirmation that the quality system is functioning correctly is the appraisal cost. Different types of quality audits can be done which may be in-house or which may be external. Another type of appraisal cost is involved in the supply validation. A supplier validation is the assessment and approval of the suppliers for good products and services. Now why we have to do the supplier validation? Generally in the production or say in any type of manufacturing based industries what happens is they depend heavily in suppliers. That means the quality of their final or in product is ultimately dependent on the quality of the raw materials and the quality of the process. So if their supplier is not working in the IS or efficient level of the quality, then the raw material will also not be good and also it will ultimately affect the quality of the in product also. So supplier validation is a very important type of validation program that is imperative in any type of industry. We can do supplier validation not only based on the quality but also on the other parameters. For example, we can do validation based on the quickness or based on the time they take to deliver any raw material to the factory or based on the reproducibility of the purity. That means if they can genuinely provide the quality materials each time or not. So based on all these factors, we do the supplier validation. Then the third one is quality control. Now this is one of the heaviest appraisal cost or most important appraisal cost and cost of the good quality and that should be present in any manufacturing and also in some cases uh, service providing organization. In quality control costs are involved in checking of the incoming material. Costs are also involved in the process setup and checking whether the products are working against the agreed specification. That means the product has to pass through certain specification or guideline and if they pass the guideline then the product is validated then the product is given a green signal to go to the further process. If the raw material finished product or the in process material doesn't pass the quality control check then naturally the product is wasted and also various kinds of costs are incurred in uh, buying different sophisticated quality control equipment such as GCMC or say different chromatographic techniques such as using the SPLCs etc. So all these types of costs are involved in the quality control which are the types of the appraisal costs. So these two costs the appraisal costs and prevention costs are the cost of the good quality. In the next lecture we will also be learning the other types of costs or the cost of bad qualities.